What's up, Facebook? It's Wednesday. It's 12 o'clock. It is time for the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining cookie show on the internet right now. Brought to you by Rec Tech, powered by Kingsford. It's time for lunch break, guys. Let's get ready. I'm going to throw it over to my good friend, your master chef, Greg Muller. What's up, Rec Tech family? I'm Chef Greg. We are here live for another episode of Lunch Break, brought to you by Rec Tech, powered by Kingsford. Um, I'm kind of a little confused, John, because yeah. I really miss my pockets. Yeah. <laughs> I had my raincoat on yesterday. The raincoat got pockets. Yes. The Kingsford sweater, no pockets. No pockets. No pockets. It's like, I don't know. So frustrating. It's so frustrating. But we got a special episode for you guys. We are doing holiday. Like, was it holiday gift food ideas? Yeah, holiday gift food ideas all Can week they even long. see me behind my breath? That's oh, they can see you. They, it is a cool effect. Cool effect? Yeah. Um, it's probably 30 degrees out here. Uh, it's raining in Evans, Georgia. It's probably not 30. Maybe what, like a brisk 40 maybe? 38. Yeah, 38. 35, 38, yeah. Um, we can actually flip that camera around because Chef John, he's got a butt heater. Yeah. He I has. A, when we turn around, Sherpa will show you yeah. Chef John's got a butt heater. Yeah, I do. Because it's, you know, my butt's a little cold. It's cold out here. I mean... Wisest man on television right here. I don't know what camera <laughs> we on. We on Sherper up front. All so right, but we're going to show you guys how to make some Christmas crack on your rec tech that you Ooh. can uh, wrap this up, put it in little goodie bags. It's a yes. great holiday treat to you know give to those teachers that are out there teaching our kids. Yes. It's a great thing you can make in bulk. The kids love it. That's um, right. It looks super, super sexy in a little bag. Yeah. We're not going to go that route because we're not the daintiest of people. No. So we will show you how to make it, and then you can get your Pinterest on and uh, wrap it up all sexy like yeah but guys sure. make sure you smash that uh, share button comment down below what you got going on good today on this uh wednesday episode of lunch, of break. lunch break it's a special ep a special edition episode of lunch break i mean it's like the usps man we don't not stop. rain that's right. not snow not sleet not hurricanes that's tornadoes right. will stop us and we can't stop and we won't stop uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. that's all i'm gonna sing because i don't know the rest of the words sherpa broke the gimbal again yeah i did sherpa it <sighs> it's in my uh, bag upstairs. Leave the phone, though. Yeah, <sighs> so frustrating. So frustrating. So frustrating. All right, but Christmas crack. Uh, yeah. This recipe is on the website. It's super tasty. John, are you a fan of Christmas crack? So I wasn't before I came and started working for Rec Tech. I didn't even know what Christmas crack was. And then you guys made it that first year for Christmas. It made I myself did not know what Christmas crack was, yeah. but I was educated really quickly by uh, some local Southerners down here. But saltines. Yes. Probably one of the greatest crackers ever invented. That's true. Have you done the six cracker challenge? Yes, I've tried the six cracker challenge, Chef Greg. All right, comment down below if you guys know what the six cracker challenge is. Because um, I myself, maybe not right now because I'm a little parched, but I, I was successful once with the six Did cracker challenge. Did you really challenge. get all I the was. crackers in and I down? Was. What's really funny is watching people try it. Yeah. And then, like, they cough, sneeze, which <laughs> is not really appreciated in this environment. And then you have, like, cracker dust coming out of your nose. <laughs> not nearly as painful as the cinnamon challenge, but the, uh, the, the six cracker challenge. Basically, you've got, what is it, 60 seconds? Yeah. 60 seconds to eat six saltine crackers. Which doesn't sound like it would be that hard. Try it. Yeah, it okay? doesn't sound like Try it. Hard. It yeah. is really hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but we've got a half baking sheet lined with some aluminum foil, and that's just going to make cleanup easy, okay? You could use your favorite baking sheet, but we're just going to very, not that cracker, because that one's broken. Yeah. You're going to break it after the fact, but just do yourself a solid and start with whole crackers. We're just going to line these crackers out of here. John, are they, uh, they showing some love for the Christmas crack? They really are. They're uh, giving some shouts out to the ladies of barbecue. They're saying that they miss them, and they'll be, I'm sure whoa, they're going to be back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. This is lunch break. This is not barbecue. Well, they're ex they were expecting to see, I think, the ladies of BBQ to be on here at 12 o'clock on Wednesday. I want to be my, 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 my greatest Russell Crowe. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I mean, are, we're good-looking people, too. Chef Greg, you're a handsome man. You're I mean, maybe man. if it was a little warmer, we could wear, like, those, 
you know, tank tops and stuff. I suggested on where I was going to wear a crop top today, but they said no. No one wanted to see me in a crop top. So I go. mean, some people would pay for that. They would. I could think of a couple people that would probably My fans get down. They definitely pay Jesus for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I could think of a couple people that would get down on Chef John um, in, a, in a little tank top. But all we're going to do is line these up. Now, we do have a couple packages of white chocolate chips, and we're going to melt these. The mm. best place to melt these. That's right. And we will show you when Sherpa fixes the gimbal is right on top of that Rectech, right there. That space on top of the, the lid that kind of touches the barrel a little bit, it is the perfect environment to very easily and delicately melt that yeah. white chocolate, yeah, and not which just, is not chocolate at all. Right, and not just that, Chef Greg. I like to put, like, when I am uh, need to get butter room temperature, I like to put my butter up on top of there. Now, you got to be careful, though, because the butter might melt a little bit. It does. It so will you melt. Gotta, you got to pay melt. attention. You can't just... Sherpa is literally fighting. It's he, like his first week over there. He yeah. is fighting that gimbal. He is. Uh, it's okay. We love you anyway, Sherpa. Yeah, here, Sherpa. But that, that hopper lid is a great place to keep food warm and or melt certain things. Maybe you want to warm up your, your uh, barbecue sauce before you glaze your ribs, chicken, all sorts of good stuff. My pocket is blowing up. I think we're getting some love out there, Chef. Are we John. getting some love? I think we're getting some love because literally uh, my phone has vibrated at least 47 times, and I will, uh, yeah. Fantastic. That's what I'm we will, about. We will get with you guys very soon. Okay? If you sent me a message in the last 30 seconds, I will call you back when we're done here on lunch break. Uh, but we got the Rec Tech. We're burning those Kingsford maple pellets. Okay? It's going to give this Christmas crack a really good sweetness. We're at 375 degrees because I got a 12 inch cast iron pan in there melting some butter. Okay? Right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add about three cups. Man, I almost got that perfect. Three cups of brown sugar. Now, when you do brown sugar, you want to be careful you kind of pack that sugar, okay? Unlike white sugar, brown sugar, you got to pack. Okay, so that's one pound of butter, and it'll be three cups of brown sugar. And if you get a little more in there, hey, it's okay too, okay? Chef John, any love out there for the Christmas crack? Oh, yeah. They got a lot of love. You got 320 people right what? now tuning in, I love and they it. are locked in. That's two cups of uh, brown sugar there. That's two and a half. Oh, man. And that's three. And what you do is you're going to grab this wire whisk here and just kind of combine that sugar with that melted butter. I love it. But you know what? I think we gotta, we got we to gotta raise this up a little bit. Let's take some of that raised warm apple pie, and let's... Uh, Let's oh, add yeah. like a teaspoon. Now, this is not in the recipe, okay? But that doesn't mean you can't make it your own. All right, so we're going to stir that, okay? And then what we'll do is we will stick this on the grill for like, I don't know, f four to five minutes. There you go. You can't look in there yet. Stop trying to cheat, okay? You can't, you can't shig in my grill. What's up, Chef John? You have a lot of people out here, Chef Greg, that are getting hit with snowstorms that are watching. I got a call from a customer that was up in, where was he, in Pennsylvania maybe? And they said they were expecting like two foot of snow. Yeah. Well, you can have it. That's right. So do you have any special tips for people that are going to be cooking in the snow year-round? Super simple. Uh, make sure your freezers are stocked, okay? Because when there's two foot of snow outside, who wants to go to the grocery store? Not me. I know there's actually plows up there and you got salt trucks, but for us southern folk, if there's even like a sense of a flurry, like there's no toilet paper, yeah. there's no milk, there's no bread. It gets like, crazy. It could maybe flurry on Friday, like the Sunday before, people are freaking out, <laughs> like and just buying everything. Um, but for me, the grill's going to be fine. Use that white pellet Wi-Fi controller. Turn that grill on from your phone. Maybe you can stay under your down comforter, your little footed pajamas. That's fine. Turn the grill on from your phone. You will get alerts as the grill is preheating. And then when your grill is preheated, just go outside, stick your food in there, put your probe in there, set an alarm for your probe, okay? Set an alarm for your probe. That way, it'll tell you when it's done. But it's not going to tell you right when it's done. It's going to give you a little bit of a warning, okay? It's going to say, hey, buddy, get off the couch. Your pork butt's done. There you go. And then you can, like, don your galoshes, maybe your overcoat, you know, uh, what's uh, your beanie cap. Maybe you got some earmuffs. Go outside, pull your pork butt off. And I don't know who doesn't want to pull a pork butt when it's cold outside. Because your hands are already freezing cold. You can go ahead and, you know, kind of massage one like That's that. That's right. All right. But based on the smell coming out of this grill, I think something is ready. Okay? 
And we did get a little ahead of ourselves because, again, we were trying to expedite the process. But about four or five minutes on that brown sugar in that cast iron pan. There you go. And then what you do is you basically Ooh. take that and pour it over top of your crackers. Yes. Like, okay, that's the before. Yes. And it's like magic of television, just like that. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick stir. And again, as this sugar melts with that butter, don't worry, Sherp, I'll come to you, okay? <laughs> as this melts and starts to simmer, now that sugar's not melted yet. So, like I said, it's like five to eight minutes. It'll be like super delicious. And then you're going to let this cool down. But we have an opportunity here because I smell something good. Yeah, me too. A little more of that raised warm apple mm. pie over the top. Just like that. Now, normally you got to let this sit for like, cup, like an, you know, 30 minutes on the counter. <clears throat> but I think with as cold as it is outside, John. Yes. I think we can. I think we can go for it. I think so too. I Chef think we Greg. can go for it. I think so too. All right. Let's recap. 375. We cook a pound of butter, three cups of brown sugar. Put it in the grill for like five to eight minutes. Let it simmer for a little bit. That butter and sugar will become one. Back up the clock for a couple late night munchies ago when Chef go. John was making that delicious Bananas Fosters right. up in Colorado. Yes. That's what you're looking for. That butter and brown sugar to become one or meld together. We're bringing everybody into the show. Okay, Jody's in the show. We're melding it together. That's right. And then you're going to pour it over the top. After that, you're going to take your chocolate. Okay. And this is just melted on top of that Rectec. And you're just going to pour oh, yeah. this chocolate oh, yeah. over the top. Okay? Yes. Train professional. Now, if you're not ready, just go ahead and don't make a mess like me. Just stick that right there to stay nice and warm. Because if you do this inside your house, it would be a lot better for you. Just trust me on this one. Now, Chef Greg, Keith asks, he's got a great question. Uh, have you ever tried this with graham crackers? Ooh, that sounds delicious. But those of you that have ever had like a salted caramel, um, and Chef John treated me to something delicious earlier with that salted caramel uh, protein bar, that yeah, salt buddy. really goes a long way. So you can do graham crackers, but sometimes that little bit of salt, I mean, really goes a long way. <clears throat> All right, let me just mix this down in here because we're not done with that just yet. Okay? We're not done. Oh, no. Because no. this is where you get the kids involved. That's now, right. before this white chocolate kind of uh, gets cool, grab you some holiday sprinkles. Now, look at how cute these are. They're Christmas trees, people. <laughs> okay, and you're going to get your, like, your holiday on, just like that. Okay, Christmas crack. Maybe you want Christmas trees on one side? Okay, cool. We, no, let Chef Greg, we let a blue one slip in there, and that's The fine. people out here can live their rec tech lifestyle. If they wanted to use graham cracker, they could use graham Shoot cracker. You. They could use dark chocolate if they yes. wanted to use dark chocolate. Chow, please. Now, these are like just red, white, or sorry, red, white, and green ones. No Christmas trees. Okay. But just go ham. Christmas crack. Yes. Now, this recipe will give you enough sugar that you can make uh, two trays. I'm sorry, John. As Isabel would say, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. You know, I've got to make Christmas crack with her uh, maybe this weekend. That's right. What about putting candy nuts on top, <laughs> Chef Greg? I mean, if you smoked them on the Rec Tech first, yeah. If you didn't, no. I'm just kidding. You do whatever you want. Maybe you got this, like, red food ice coloring thing. Just go ahead and chop the top off. This is either going to be glorious or make a mess. And then, like, okay, you all have seen brunch at Bobby Flay's. Yes. Right? The guy makes a mess with his squeeze bottles. This is really cold. But you can go ahead and, like, get your Picasso on. Yeah. Go, Chef Greg. Go. Oh. Don't cross the streams. That was a good Ghostbuster reference. <laughs> but, I mean, this is a super simple thing that you can do on your rec tech that those Kingsford maple pellets are going to give you, like, the most delicious sweetness into your food. That right there, people... With this little corner over here. Woo, child, please. It's going to kind of melt into that chocolate. Where did I, Sherp, where did I screw this up? Right here? Okay. And it's all art, okay? There's no right or wrong. It's just you living your best rec tech lifestyle, okay? That's right. But, John, I think we need to 
hit it one more time yes, with that Jorge's warm apple pie. Definitely. Now, if you don't have your red icing, dude, that's cool. Just grab some more of that white chocolate. Okay. <laughs> this is going to get cold quick. <laughs> Man, it's freezing cold out here, John. It is. It's kind of cool, Chef. Oh, You're doing a I'm, great job. You know, time out. See, I'm not green. I'm going to put gloves on because I do not have a good track record with food color. <laughs> okay? And I do not want to look like the Grinch this holiday season because I'm not. No, okay? you're not. I am not the Grinch. No, and you've got over 400 people watching 400 right now. 400 people? Okay. Now, I do hold the record right now That's for right. You do. Rec Tech live shows. You do. Chef John and I were doing brisket. Yep. I want you guys to smash that share button, and let's see if we can't break that record, making Christmas crack, okay? So we're going to go ahead and mix this up with that green food coloring. See, <laughs> John, it's getting cold already, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's this, starting to get a little thick. This might be an F+. Plus. All right, we're going to put this right back here and let this warm up, because I told you, like, this, is, it's, it's 30 degrees out here, okay? My Christmas crack has already... S starting to set? <laughs> Okay, normally you let this sit on the counter for like two hours. If you're impatient, just go outside. And Sherpa did a really good job with this foil here. <coughs> Sherpa! No, this is actually a good thing. So here's why you put it on the foil. Boom, clean pan. And then you're, it needs to harden a little bit because our, our chocolate's not completely, uh, not completely dry. And then you kind of take it and you just give it a bang. Sounds crazy, but you got to crack it. Okay, we have the Christmas. We're working on the crack. Oh, John, I think we're. Are we okay? Uh, nope. Still. A little bit longer. We'll do one of these. Not advised when chocolate. That's okay. true. Do it. Do as I say, not as I do. That's right. Okay. Well, Chef Greg, while we're doing that, yeah, buddy. Why don't we do a giveaway? What? Yeah. What, what are we gonna give away? I don't know. It's cold outside. Why don't we do uh, one of those cold weather packages that Jody did? There was like a hoodie, a cup, a tumbler, and a, an ornament. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. I'm just saying. That's how we roll around here. All right, right. So if you want to win yourself a cold weather prize pack for you. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can put like some moonshine in that, that Ooh, ice or tumbler. Ooh, yeah. You're talking. Okay. Leave the ice cube out. Maybe you got some, uh, some apple pie shine. Ooh, yes. Put some of that warm apple pie in there and spice up your life a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to make that, that hashtag drink a winner with yes. Chef John with that <laughs> on the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's finally mastered the ISI whipper. I really have. I finally <laughs> mastered you, it. You are a maniac with the ISI yeah, whipper. Yeah, I am. I'm out of control. I love that thing. All right. It doesn't take very long to uh, melt this uh, this greenage. All right, so what do they have to do, Chef Greg? All right, so I think you need to, uh, this is not going to work. Okay, a little, it's a little too, a uh, little too, a little too thick. Little but too they thick. get the idea, Chef Greg. I think it's looking great. This might be my first fail on camera. Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was not good. <laughs> okay, so normally it's not like Maybe you got some toddlers. Yours will look just like this. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah, and it's going to be fun. All that's going to break apart anyhow, so it's going to be delicious. We talked about Ghostbusters. I think I just, uh, what's that guy? Slimer. I think I just, I think I just slimered the top. Okay. Uh, Vince Smitka has a great question. Top what's fan. up, Vince? He says, could you use the smoke box to warm the chocolate? You sure could. Um, man, that's terrible right there. Okay. What we'll do is, again, this is Christmas crack. So here's how you fix this. You just get rid of this one <laughs> right here. Okay. See, it's almost, it's almost cold. So you take this, okay, and you do one of these. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. And when it's cold, it cracks. And then, obviously, it's not melted like this. Yes. And then you just... That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But wait two hours, okay? Chef John, you want some crack? Sure. Oh, always. Hold on. Let me come over. Mm. Yes. That warm apple pie. But when you break it, it just, it'll uh, hold together. And you can put it in little sexy bags and go for it. I mean, that's crack, literally. It's ridiculously good, you guys. It's that so warm easy. apple pie, mm -hmm. that apple sugar. Mm -hmm. The beauty of the saltines 
is it gives you just enough salt yep. that it kind of combats all of that sweetness. That's right. And that right there. That's a win. As Stevie Fredericks would say, does not suck. It does not suck. It doesn't mm. suck. That's a win, Chef Greg. Killing it on a Wednesday. I mean, mm. get you some warm cocoa. Oh, now you're talking. And live your best rec tech lifestyle. For real. I'm telling you guys right now, it is holiday gift idea week all week long. This is the perfect gift idea to bring to your neighbors. It always says that you care more when you make something from the heart. Absolutely. And again, you see that sugar's melted. And just be patient and stir it. It'll come together. It does take a minute or two. Okay. Just be patient. And then you just pour this over the top. It's kind of hot and heavy. It's getting hot and uh hurt. -huh, uh -huh. All right, but you guys got to do us a favor. Make sure you smash the share button and uh, do Chef John and I a favor. Make some Christmas crack for your friends and family. And if you want to uh, win yourself a holiday cold there weather pack for you, there you go. go ahead and comment down below. Hashtag That's right. Christmas crack. Christmas crack. And uh, make sure you share this video. And Chef John and I will pick a winner next week. Yeah, and we'll announce it. We'll, pro we'll let the barbecue girls announce it next week at 12 o'clock at Wednesday. I How about it. that? Yeah, for sure. All right, this will come together in just a minute because it's starting to cool down. Now, if this gets too hot, like I said, that sugar and butter doesn't mix. You cool that down a little bit, it'll come together just, just fine. But again, that's one pound of butter, three cups of brown sugar. Starting to see how it's kind of coming together there, sharp like that? That's what we want. All right, another minute on the grill. Woo, chow, please. That's hot. And don't leave your whisk in there. I had a customer that left their whisk in the grill, and uh, their handle melted. <laughs> don't want to do that. Heather Smith wants to give a shout-out to her cousin, Stevie. So quick shout-out to you, Stevie. Yeah. Shout-out, Stevie. We appreciate you guys tuning in each and every week here at the worldwide headquarters of RecTech. That's right. In beautiful but chilly Evans, Georgia. That's right. And, John, it's been... Yeah, it's been 30 minutes, Chef Greg. You're, well, we've, third, we've been like 25 minutes. Why don't you tell them what we got coming on the rest of the week? Fantastic. Tonight, Wednesday at 5 o'clock, we've got After Hours. I got my After Hours shirt on here. See? After Hours. I'm yeah, representing. Yeah. Maybe you can win yourself a shirt. I'm just saying. Uh, that's going to be live at 5 o'clock. We're going to show you more fantastic, tasty treats that you can make on your rec tech, bag up, and gift to your loved ones that's all right. across this beautiful country. That's right. Tomorrow. Is Thursday. We got lunch break on YouTube at 12 noon Eastern. That Jody Flanagan, RecTech Rules expert, barbecue dad, RecTech crazy man is going to bring in you something delicious. Then stay up for the Late Late Show with Chef John for Late Night Munchies. That's going to be on Instagram at 11 o'clock. And then Fun Day Friday, the piece de resistance. We're spinning that wheel of RecTech. That's every Friday at 12 noon Eastern. We don't miss a show. Okay, nope. because you guys deserve better. That's right. Okay? There's no teases around here. No. We bring you content every single day. That's right. We're delivering. We're not because teasing. Because we love you. it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you some of our classic favorites all the time. I figured out how I can fix this, John. Okay. I love it. We're just going to grab more of this red. Yeah. And kind of just hide. Oh, I like that, Chef Craig. Yeah, I want right? to remind everybody, too, that movie night will be canceled this night. If you were in the CSRA and you were planning on coming up to Rec Tech for movie night, I'm sorry, guys. It will be canceled. But, but we just will make sure be you back. follow us on all social media. That way you guys That's can right. stay abreast of the latest and greatest all things Rec Tech. That's make right. sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Go to the bottom of any page on the website. That's RecTech.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Put your email address in there. And that way we can delicately insert you recipes. Now, if you guys want this recipe, just go right over there right now That's on right. our appetizers. It's about halfway down. You can also go to rectech.com slash lunch break, put your email address in there, and we will send this to you. Christmas crack. But, Chef John, good question? Yeah, I got a, qu I got a quick question. Let's People do it, out here, have, uh, they're looking for holiday uh, Christmas ideas from Rectech. Yep. What are some of your go-to Christmas ideas? I mean, it's hard to go wrong with that rub and sauce bundle, and here's why. Okay, you get one of every one of our fantastic seasonings and barbecue sauces. So you can fill the stockings of everybody in your office That's right. with one purchase. Um, I love reusable things. So things like the grill mat, fantastic accessory. Uh, you don't want to do this on the grill mat because you want that sugar to kind of soak into the, the cracker and stay there. The grill mat, it'll kind of just go through and make a mess of your grill. Don't do it. I've tried it. It doesn't end well. Foil is, is your number one for this one. I also love uh, the interior shelves. You can really maximize the space of your rec tech. Maybe you're going to do uh, a larger turkey and a couple casserole pans on an RT-590. Mm. But 
I mean, however you want to uh, live your Rectech lifestyle, I mean, that's up to you guys as far as what you want to cook the holiday right. season. But I encourage you, okay, cook outside, cook on the grill. Yes. Because not only is it so much easier, it imparts so much more flavor to your food. I mean, who would have thought making Christmas crack on a smoker? Right. Who would have thought of making Christmas crack with maple pellets? And not just any maple pellets. I'm talking the best maple pellets out there, those manufactured by Kingsford. That's right. Okay, Thomas Edison and Henry Ford know <laughs> a thing or two about some cool stuff. I mean, light bulbs and pickup trucks. That's it. Now they got pellets. <laughs> all right, but from all of us here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in Evans, Georgia, we love you. Stay safe out there, and we know, like, you know how we like to end the show. We will see you. No, I'm at sorry. I messed it up. God bless you. God bless the United States, and we will see you. At the, the rec tech. tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech, tech Christmas crowd. Set it and come get it. Till when the sun, sun starts, starts going down, live your life the way you like. It's a Rec Tech lifestyle. Do, do, do. Burn it down. Do, do, do. Burn it down. Do, do, do. Rec Tech lifestyle.